Champions Project for Kids. Here's what you need. A cardboard tube. A blank or recycled CD. Two index cards. Hot glue. Pen or pencil. An utility knife or scissors. Paint and tape. Here's how to do it. Mark a circle on the CD using the tube as a template. Make a little scratch on the disc. This will make easier to remove the reflective layer from the CD using tape. And cut the circle. Place two index cards over one side of the tube, creating a vertical slit and use hot glue to stick it in place. Paste the circle at the other side of the tube and make sure the lines of the CD are parallel to the slit between the cards. Cut out the rest of the index cards. Paint as you like and it's ready. Look through the CD plastic and you'll be amazed how it is acting as a great diffraction rating, breaking light up into its constituent spectral colors. Now you can see the light spectrum from almost any source of light. But remember, different light sources produce different Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, electroscope out of just uh, various pieces, bits and pieces that you can find around the house. This is a glass jar. I have uh, two little pieces of aluminum foil that I cut the same way, just into a little round shape like this. And I put a little hole in one end right here. So two of those, one, two. Uh, some copper wire, this is 14 gauge. Um, the thicker the better, uh, this seems to work fine. I soldered this end right here, and I've soldered this end right here. That's just to get rid of the sharp edges. Um, and then I've spiraled this end right here, like this, just to make a large surface area. I'll show you what we do with that in a minute. Just some black tape right here, electrical tape, and right here, this is actually taken from a lid, like this. This is a uh, container. I hope it's store it's a plastic lid, so any piece of plastic will do. I've taken a uh, plastic tube and shoved it through the lid um, and hot glued it right here just so it's solid with the lid. Uh, a piece of straw will do. This is some tube that I got from a hobby shop. Okay, now to assemble it. First thing I'll do is I'll take the copper wire and I'll stick it through the tube here. And there's one thing you have to make sure is that it'll fit through the tube. So that should be a good distance right there. And uh, at this end right here, I'll just form it into a little hook. Let's make it into a little round hook like that. And then I'll take the uh, one piece of aluminum foil and I'll put it on the hook. Remember I made a little hole on one side here, so just carefully slip it in there. Take the other piece of aluminum foil, doesn't matter which side's shiny. And which side's flat. And, uh, carefully put that through without breaking the hole. There you go. Smooth them out. And you can see that they're now touching together at the end of the hook. I have some black electrical tape which I've already cut and put on here. Uh, so I'll just take the jar now, slip this over the top, bend down the electrical tape, I'll take this last piece of electrical tape, and this is just to reinforce the, the other tape there, just to make sure that it holds on well and will last me a good long time. And uh, just for uh, convenience sake, I'll just bend this down right here. I like that, it's easy to use that way. And it's done, believe it or not. Okay, now the next step is to test it. That's what this piece of vinyl is for. It's just a piece of uh, vinyl that's actually taken from blinds, window blinds. And uh, watch what happens down here when I move this piece close to this edge. Watch what happens to the aluminum. There you go. You can see the aluminum spreads apart. Let's take something a little. 